Hey guys, I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. So have you guys seen this video yet? Yes, that was indeed a mouse going toe to toe with a scorpion 2D fighting game style. Harukum! Specifically a southern grasshopper mouse feasting on one of its favorite meals, the Arizona bark scorpion. But did you notice that this cute little guy got stung numerous times and it looked like it wasn't even phased by the sting of the most venomous scorpion in North America? Hmm, seems odd. Well that's because this furry little badass doesn't really feel the pain of the scorpion's venom. See, our nerve cells communicate pain to the brain via electrical pulses sent across tiny channels in the cell membrane called ion channels. The sodium potassium channel, which assists functions like breathing and muscle contractions, is found throughout the body. And what channel does the scorpion's venom attack? You guessed it, the sodium potassium channel. Basically, the mouse has one channel that picks up the pain and another channel that transfers it to its brain. Now, researchers are saying it's the venom that actually blocks this pain signal in which it's trying to send to the mouse's brain via the second channel, while the sodium potassium channel appears to be unaffected as if it feels no pain. Man, it's like this guy's a freaking little Terminator. <laughs> So you might be saying to yourself, Alex, what's the big deal? I can see tons of sweet animal fights on animal takedowns with Taizan Day. However, the real scientific significance behind this is that it could lead to even better painkillers for us humans. I don't feel anything. I'm a grasshopper mouse, a grasshopper mouse. So what do you guys think? Have you seen better animal battles? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to watch our other videos over here. And don't forget to click subscribe right down here. And I'll see you hairy mammals tomorrow. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A grasshopper mouse. Ow! Ah!